Hey guys, it's Graham. This is an update to my Effector design and the latest version known as the XR version 2 made for the Predator 3D printer. In the previous models, there were two fundamental versions. One to take exclusively a Mosquito hot end, such as this, and a separate version that would take an E3D V6 type of hot end. Now, I wanted to combine the whole lot together so that instead of having two different models, to replace it with one single one that could take not only the Mosquito, but also groove mount hot ends such as uh, E3D V6 and the like, all within the one single design. In order to facilitate that, the fundamental effector itself hasn't changed. This is the Magball only version, but there is also a version that will take conventional arms as well. What it means was that uh, the mount that I had previously for the Mosquito hot ends is now replaced by a single hot end mount that can take not only Mosquitoes, but also have attached to it a clamping system such as this for fitting groove mount hot ends such as the E3D V6. So the one effector as supplied now, now comes with this mounting plate that can take both. Also within the design, I've allowed for mostly fitting 30 millimeter fans, but also for fitting 40 millimeter fans. So that's the fundamental design. So forget what you're looking at at the top there. That's basically it. The rest of it, the way the park cooling fans mount and everything else is precisely the same. And uh, following on in the video, I haven't shot it as a video. I've done a lot of still images. So I'm going to basically include a slideshow which will go through how all the different hot ends are assembled, like uh, you see here. And uh, there'll be an explanation how each one of those individual hot ends is fitted to this mounting plate. Now you might be looking at this and saying, hey, this has got something additional to it. Well, I've also uh, made an adaption so that an OMG extruder can be directly fitted to the uh, effector, as you see here. So it's basically a direct drive system. Now, that's not part of the basic effector as it's sold. That's just something I decided to do for myself because I wanted to do printing of some flexibles and the original Bowden tube system used with the Predator was pretty horrible at uh, printing flexibles. So I uh, came up with the idea of directly fitting an OMG. I found the OMG was the best and easiest to adapt to, uh, to the effector. So that's the way I did it. There's a separate part of a video how I actually did that. So it's going to be basically a long slideshow um, and I'll put in the description uh, times so that you can skip to the individual sections that you uh, might want to go to of how you assemble each of the individual hot ends onto the XR version 2 effector and also how the direct drive uh, is fitted to uh, to the effector as well and the adapters that are needed to do that. I've also, you will see, and there's a, a separate section on my website, um, you can also fit a halo light, which I will do to this, um, so that uh, I uh, use that all the time now. This is um, light is readily available from uh, AliExpress and from eBay. And there's on the website, there's an STL for printing this ring out. And every effector has holes 
for mounting it in three uh, three positions and it's powered so that's all covered on a separate page on my website so what you'll get is after this video has uh, completed i'll go through the slideshow uh, i'll allow a certain amount for each image to display itself but don't be concerned if it goes too fast you can pause it at any time but on my website on the page and there'll be a link in the description i will provide a zip file with all the images all combined within one zip file so you can download all the still images and you can individually look at them as you need to get uh, specific instructions. So that's the main part. I'll uh, now finish talking and I'll just proceed with the slideshow. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest. Thank you.
Just on the point of uh, fitting direct drive to the Predator, I know a lot of people will immediately be saying, oh, that's going to be fairly heavy and you're going to have all sorts of problems. Well, yes, there are upsides and downsides for doing it. The uh, upside is I can easily do flexibles. I can cut the retraction rate back to about 0.4 millimetres. So I virtually get no stringing. I get extremely good prints with this setup. But the downside is, yes, I do get a little bit of ringing with it. But um, the upsides versus the downsides for the type of work that I do, the upsides are, uh, are more preferable. However, because I use mag balls and, and I have multiple effectors, I can very quickly swap out the direct drive one for a Bowden tube type like the original in about five minutes and all I do is just rehang the Bowden tube extruder and uh, within about five minutes I'm off and running if that's what I need. So having both is, uh, is a distinct advantage and um, with all of my effectors, I run Mosquito Hot Ends because I found, or they're actually clones of Mosquito Hot Ends. They work extremely well. So there you go.